Oh, and Lambeth Palace want to know if you've decided yet about Bury St Edmunds. All right, Bernard, thank you. Right, uh, good night. Mm. What's happening in Bury St Edmunds? I've got to choose a bishop. That's ridiculous. Why? Well, you're not exactly religious, are you, darling? I'm prime minister. Religion has nothing to do with it. <laughs> do with bishops? Not really. They're just managers in fancy dress. <laughs> the Church of England has over 172,000 acres of land, thousands of tenants, leaseholds, property and investments worth a total of £1.6 billion. So the ideal bishop is a corporate executive, sort of <laughs> merchant banker, personnel manager and estate agent. Speaking as a church girl, I'd prefer you to choose a man of God. Mm, they offered me one of those, but he wants to turn the Church of England into a religious movement. <laughs> the one they're trying to force on me is a modernist. You mean a Marxist or an atheist? Both. <laughs> Doesn't matter about the atheist bit, apparently, but being a Marxist could cause me a lot of trouble once he stands up and starts to make speeches in the House of Lords. Can't you turn him down? No, it'd look political. But haven't you been explaining that the church is political? Yes, but it mustn't look it. <laughs> I see. Well, why did you turn him down on religious grounds? How do you mean? Well, does he believe in heaven and hell? No, of course not. The virgin birth? <laughs> The resurrection? No, no, nothing like that. <laughs> Isn't that enough to be going on with? Annie, you're brilliant. I'll reject both candidates and force them to submit another. What I really want is a candidate who'll get on with everybody. You mean someone who doesn't have strong views on anything? Yes. <laughs> it might help if he were inclined towards Christianity. <laughs> it wouldn't do any real harm. So what you need is a sort of closet Christian. <laughs> Thank you, darling.